So, so you used to do uh, syrup? Yeah, I used to love codeine. I, I don't want to start it. I don't want to start it. This codeine shit in the rap game, bro. Like I, I've been, you know, as far as like I've been, I've been fucking with codeine. You know, I, I was, I supplied the whole damn southern region with codeine in the drug game, man. Like, you okay. know. Okay, so so you were you were doing codeine for a while, right? What made you stop? Shit, I ain't stopped till I uh, came home from prison, and I was on parole. Okay. That's the only thing that made me stop. I I, I sip. I used to sip. I had gallons of syrup by my bed in jail. Really? Really? You were getting it in prison like that? Yeah. Okay. Because you were addicted. Yeah, yeah. You gotta have it. If you don't have it, you gotta have it. Like codeine, like is a real drug. It's not nothing to play with. You okay. gotta have it. If you don't have it. Hey, bro, like, you finna throw up, man. You finna, you know, if you don't have it, and, and it affects your bowel movements, you know. They got a lot of, you sip so much, every time you shit, you just gonna shit out a pebble because the codeine and got around your, uh, got around your liver and it then harden up your liver and shit. So it sticks to your liver. And, and a lot of artists don't know, every two ounces of codeine you drink, you're supposed to drink a, uh, 16 ounces of water to flush it off your kidney. Okay, and you actually had, you had cancer at one point. Yeah, and, and you know, I was on codeine from like, 03 to, you know, and I've been, I've been to the, I, I, made, I probably been to the hospital. I think, I think that's what got, my, got me with diabetes, man, because I got diabetes when I was like 19. I started sipping codeine when I was like 17, 18. So I think, I don't know, I'm not gonna say that. I feel like God do everything for a reason, but I sipped a lot of codeine. Okay, so how bad were your withdrawals when you finally stopped? Uh, sweating, uh, throwing up. I kept, I used to always go to the hospital. I used to go to the hospital so much they had my own room for me. Uh, you know, like I, I was, I was down bad on the codeine, bro. You know, I was. Down. I made a song called "I Quit It." I ain't fucking with it. I say it all the time. Uh, you know, I was, I was down bad on codeine, bro. Like I, and I put everybody on it, bro. Like I was down bad on codeine, like real talk, you know. Okay, now that you're off it completely, right. Are you ever tempted to go back, or do you have a better understanding? Nah, I don't want that feeling no more. You know, I don't, I don't want that feeling of uh, I don't want that feeling of uh, withdrawal. You know, I don't, and it, and it, and it, and it I just, I, and I just like the, the smile I got now to where you know I came, I overcame it. So you know, you know, I don't, I don't want that shit at all, bro. Like I don't, I don't want that shit. I don't want that habit. You know, I don't, I, don't, I don't want nothing to do with that codeine, bro. You know? I don't really like my niggas sipping it. You know, I be six side throwing their cups away. I be, hmm. they be having their cups, they leave it on the dresser. I slick side throw it in the toilet. I be doing all kinds of shit because, you know, they kind of worthless when they on codeine. You know, they ducking, they waking up, they're not as focused. But most, most of them, you know, they, they got to have their drink. I don't want them to get sick neither at the same time. You know, I'd rather them uh, take uppers. Well, you know, the man that helped bring you into the game, Pimp C. Right. He died. He died of codeine. Right. Right. But at that point, you were still sipping. Yeah. 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 I was. Yeah. I was. When Pimp C died, I was sipping more. They tell me Pimp died from codeine. I was like, shit. Y'all need another paint. I was. I was, I was sipping more. You know, I used to sip uh, two paints of codeine, thirty-two ounces of codeine a day. If you come in my house, if you walk in my house from 05 to 07, I have over 100 paints in the refrigerator. And, and why it's not positive right now, because they gonna go broke. You know, if you still drink right now, if you ain't making no hell of a money, you going broke. You know, because paints, paints are activists. When I was, when I was doing it, it was $250. They $5,000 now. Sealed wow. up, they're $5,000 now. They was, they was, they was $250 when I used to get them. I used to get them, I used to get a 
300 paints for $25 a piece. But now they're $5,000 for one paint, 16 ounces. Right, because when I interviewed uh, Lil Herb, G Herbo. What's the most you ever drank, you ever spent on lean? No telling, bro. Like, I didn't, you don't I know remember? I done spent 50000 on this shit. You spent 50000 on lean. Hell yeah. Easy. Drinking lean. Hell yeah. Well, five years, that's 10000 a year. I mean, well, that's. That's rest, bro. Uh, he's not lying. He's not lying. He's not lying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. One bottle. One bottle that might last them seven, eight hours. $5,000, man. That's why everybody's sipping the bullshit now. They sip red. People done switched it up, they sipping red. You know, but the red, the red, and the red, people used to give red away. They didn't even want. Red now is $1,000, $1,200 a paint. You know, so if you ain't got no steady, that's the wrong drug to be doing, bro, because it costs so much money now. It's a high demand for it. And all the rappers, all the rappers love it, so, you know. That's how it is, you know, but you gotta have it. I know, I know what they going through, you gotta have it. You gotta yeah. have it, I'm telling you. If you were to put a, a dollar amount on how much lean you drank yourself, 100,000, 500,000? Uh, I'm gonna say about uh. Retail, not, not wholesale, retail. I, I, I don't wanna say no number because uh, <laughs> you know, I ain't drunk a lot of drink though, bro. I used to, I used to have, I used to drink so much drink. At one time, uh, used to, one time, uh, my 745, the shift got stuck. I couldn't put it in gear. It had so much syrup and shit going down. My other car, it couldn't go in gear because it had syrup down there. You know, I put it on everything. I, I put it on my cigarettes. I put it on my blunts. Uh, all my clothes had burn holes in them. That's from smoking a cigarette, going to sleep, and, the, and it drips. Uh. Uh, I was the syrup king, man. Like, like that's all I did is, is sip syrup, bro. And, uh, and it just kept me sick. I used to be so damn sick, man. And I quit for about two weeks. And, and when somebody make me mad, that would be my excuse to go back. You know? Yeah. I mean, if you look at Gucci... I assume, well, I mean, I know for a fact that Gucci used to do a lot of lean. Yeah. I, I've talked to people around him. He looks so much happier now when he off the lean. When, when you see that, that them Gucci smiles in, in his Instagram yeah, picture, yeah, the, yeah. It, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it looks I, so... yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> me too. Look at me now. Go back to my uh, 2003 to 2009 and look at my face. Yeah. You'll be like, this, this month, he disturbed. You know, because it had you with that. You know, it, 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 it always how you, and how you humbuggish too. You wake up and you ain't got it? Oh man, bro, you a, mm. you know, and how you, you, you can't even fuck right on this shit like talking about, man. One nut, you out. <laughs> you out, don't touch me, you don't, I'm good, don't touch me. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know, niggas, niggas drink so much of that shit, you catch one nut, you don't even want, you know, you done, like. That shit affect you in so many ways. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, I tried it one time when I was hanging out with Riff Raff, and uh, I think I just fell asleep. I, I didn't really get the full effect, and I'm good. You got the full back. effect. You're asleep, right? Yeah, that was the full <laughs> effect. <laughs> I'm good, man. You know, I I just see too much of this shit, you know, because I got a report on it. I just see too many of the horror stories, man. Yeah, you man. Know, and, like all the rappers in H Town really died off drink, man. Yeah, DJ you know, you gotta think about all the rappers in H Town. You know, they didn't get shot. No, 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 they didn't. Get, they died off drink. You know, and Pimp loved drink. That's one thing about Pimp. <laughs> Man, Pimp did it all. That's my boy, bro. That, Pimp, you know, I remember me and Pimp drinking. Uh, I had po I had I had a. Uh, that's when they had Sprite Remix. I had a. Uh, I had a little bottle. I pulled three ounces in there. That nigga say, what the fuck you doing, man? <laughs> man, nigga took the bottle and pulled a whole nother four in there. I was like, shit. You know, I'm with the big dog now. I'm steady drinking, though. I'm steady drinking. So, you know, like, it's just a part of you, man. It's like, the lean is a part of the culture, nah. Like, people got, like, it's, it's really a part of the culture. It's just, 
you just gotta get it and I just hope you get money while you're getting it because it's gonna take it gonna take your bag down. You know, one of my best friends growing up, he ended up overdosing and dying off cocaine when he was twenty three. And and I remember going to his funeral and saying, I ain't never gonna touch this shit. And that's and that's what I did. I've never touched cocaine my whole life because of that situation. Yeah. I just think a lot of times you need to have that example. Yeah, that's what happened what, with me though. Like 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 uh like my dad my dad was on cocaine, uh uh, I saw I saw some of my role models lose they lose they stripes to cocaine, uh, and all my friends I had like a pack of six friends coming up and all our dads and dads was on cocaine, and uh, and I remember we made a pack that we'll never do cocaine, bro. You know we used to see how our daddies was acting and that stuck with us, bro. And yeah. we always made a pack that we'll never do cocaine. And, only, and all of us ain't never do cocaine, but one of them. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, man. Boosie, we got another epic one here, man. We're going to drop it. Can't wait to see how the people react to it. Always a pleasure. All right, bro.